Hi, I'm Jan, owner of the Cherry Pit Quilt Shop in Sevierville, Tennessee. We are located in historical downtown Sevierville and we would love to have you come see us sometime. Today we're going to talk about a square that most quilters do as their first block that they make in quilting. This is called a nine patch. We're also going to take this block nine patch and turn it into a disappearing nine patch because it's the exact same process it just has some different cutting with it. So these happen to be five inch squares so first thing you want to do is cut and if you'll notice you have to have three of each color to make a nine patch okay. So first thing you want to do is cut your nine inch squares. I'm going to cut a couple. Uh, if you're not sure about cutting if you'll refer back to a video that we've previously made on cutting you'll have some ideas of how to do that. This ruler happens to be a five inch ruler so we're just going to use the width of the ruler to cut our five inch squares. That is not five inches. That ruler, hmm, one, two, three, four, five, is a six inch ruler. That's why you uh, measure twice, cut once. Mm hmm There we go. I knew it didn't look right. Okay, so there's our five inch squares. So we have uh, all these cut in our different colors. And the next thing you want to do is start sewing your rows together. So I suggest that you lay these out the way that you want to sew them. So I wanted the black in three sections. Here's one sewn together. Let's see, where does this one go? Like this. Here's a row sewn together. So I laid it out the way that I was going to sew it together. So then you can look at it and say, yep, that's the way I want it to look. And then you're ready to start sewing it together. So, you're, so I have one row sewed. So you pick up your next one. Remember you're doing quarter inch seams when you're sewing and quilting. Most machines have a guide for quarter inch seams. Now I do chain sewing, which means I pick up two squares from the next row. And it just makes it go a little bit faster. You just kind of have to pay attention to what you're doing that you don't get your rows off. Okay, so we have two. Okay, so then you would complete this, get all of your blocks sewn together. So you have your three rows. You do want to make sure that you press. Now when you sew a nine patch together, one thing you want to watch is, and I'll flip this over on the back, you want to press one row, like the middle row, if the seams are going to the, le to the right, these two seams need to go to the left. If you don't do that, you have a big hump right here that's very hard to sew over. So you do want to press it before you sew it together. So once you get all three rows done, all three rows are sewed, you're going to sew this together just like so. And that's your nine patch. Nine patch is ready to go. So you can do many of these in lots of different colors. You can do a scrappy quilt, which means you use multiple colors to make a nine patch. So then we're going to take this one, the same block. We have two of them, so we can show you the difference. Okay, that's the nine patch block. We have pressed these really good this morning. We're going to find the center of this block. So this block measures, better measure even. You may have to square it up, okay? It's about 14 by 14. We want to find the center of this and the center of this. And we are going to cut that. So when you sew up a five inch block, you now have a four and a half inch finished square, which means we now need to cut the center of this would be two and a fourth. See, all those math skills you learned in school, you have to know them when you quilt, whether you thought you would use them or not. So we're cutting this in half this way. Now, I'm gonna move around this direction. You do have to go to the other side Again, you're going to measure two and a fourth to find your center. And I did not move any of that block at all. You want to keep it just like it is. 
Okay. So, we started like this. We've now cut it apart. So to get a different design, you can turn it. So all we did on this block was turn two sides, one turn. So you have a whole, so if you look at it, you have a whole different look to your block. You can continue to turn it many different ways. So then you can have it like this. If anybody has any questions about cutting, remember to, to refer back to our, our previous video. So this one, you would just take it when you got it, when you have it decided how you want it to look, you just pick it up and go sew it back together however you want it to look and you have a disappearing nine patch. Hey, thanks for joining us today. Remember, uh, if you ever visit in the area, our shop hours are Monday through Friday, 10 to 4 and Saturday, 9 to 1. Have a great day.